Welcome back to the Weapon Sender. This is a show where I will be showing you how to make weapons out of normal, everyday household materials. And they will then be tested by the Modern Ninja to prove how they work. So today I will be showing you how to make this extendable staff and this is made of nothing more than tape. So to start off, we have our classic duct tape. Very essential for most projects. You can find this for about three bucks at Walmart. We have our electrical tape, which I have no idea how much this stuff costs, but I just found it around my house. And then we have our tape measure, which will be the main core of this project. Here we have a nice Craftsman made in the USA and 25 feet long of which we're only going to need 12 for this project. Now to begin we're going to start off by using the tape measure. Now on every tape measure there will be a rating on how long it can extend when you just let it go. And so to do that, you want to find it just by extending it till it breaks. And as you can see here, we got to a nice 11 feet. Now to make the staff, you're going to want 12 feet of this material, but the rigidity of the tape measure is what makes the staff work. So this, for this project, surprisingly, we're not going to need any tools, but to start off in the build process, you want to extend this as far as it can go. This way you'll be able to use all the materials for now and later projects. So this is 25 feet long, so basically just keep pulling until you get to the end. Hey, phrasing! And once you're at the end, it's not going to go any further until you want to push this little lever down and lock it into position. When it says stop, you know you are at the end. Now you want to break off a segment of this tape measure because we're not going to need the holder part. And so to do that, you merely fold it over and it's going to give a nice little crease right here. And to cut this, all you need to do is push right down on that part and you'll hear it crack and so then it just snaps off so once you break the holder off you'll just be left with this little piece here and you want to be just a little bit careful to avoid this because it's kind of sharp at the edge there that's a sharp outfit chan careful you could puncture the hull of an empire class fire nation battleship leaving thousands to drown at sea because it's so sharp. But basically, if you unclip it, there's a very large spring in here. And I just decompressed that spring. You also, if you ever use this for a future project and want to take it apart, there's four screws here. Just be careful, because as you heard, there's a large spring inside. But if we go over here, we now have this long segment of just the tape part. And so we'll want to walk all the way over here to the end. And on the end, we got this nice little part. We're not going to need that. So we're just going to fold it over like we did with the holder. And for least waste, you want to get as close as possible. And then just push down. Usually a foot works slightly better than your hand, but it just snaps right off once again. And then we're going to take this in. We want our staff to be about six foot-ish. It can be slightly shorter since we lost the end here. But you're going to just pull it over to near 12-ish. And then right down here, you'll see we got the six foot. And you'll want to break almost exactly on the six foot. If you want a little longer, the size is kind of up to you. But you just once again put your foot down and snaps right in two pieces. 
And so now we got one six foot segment and we'll just do that once again. And you'll want these two pieces to be even with each other. So if you look at the end over there, and then we go right down here. And so here we we'll want to break at the 142nd mark. So we just grab this end and pull it over. Then check the edge here. Keep going till we get to 142 at the crease. Take your foot, step down, and voila. We now have two somewhat even pieces of tape measure. And now we get to the fun part of making them into a staff. Now, to put the two long pieces of metal together, it's probably easiest and best just to work on the floor. So you're gonna take your two pieces of metal and then you're gonna grab your duct tape. And then the duct tape is gonna be the outer layer of your staff, whereas the metal tape measure is going to be your core. And so basically you're just taking these two pieces and melding them together. So you're going to tape the duct tape down, face up, so the sticky sides up, and then you're just going to pull it out until it's the same length as your tape measure segments. And so since each of these tape measures are about an inch wide, you'll actually need a full width of duct tape. So you're gonna need two strands. And so if you just stick the first one to the ground, you just have to overlap by, let's say a quarter of an inch. And then you'll get your second one down. You can, of course, just use wider duct tape to make this process a bit easier. Take your piece of tape measure and you line it up with the edge of the duct tape. You just want to firmly press it, get a good seal. Doesn't really matter a whole lot if you're straight on the duct tape or not, as long as the tape measure itself is straight. And then you'll take your second segment and butt it up right against the first. Now you want this to be nice and flush because you're going to bend these over onto each other. And that's what's going to give it rigidity. And then you got your nice two tape measures down. And if you do, do it right, it should look something kind of like a U-channel. Where you just have the two ends curling up. And then what you're going to actually do is you're going to fold the first one onto the second one. As best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the better it is, the better your staff will work. And then you just take it, usually starting at an end makes it a little easier. And then you just fold it over onto the second piece. Make it nice and flush with each other. And then you go to the ends here. And nice thing is it's duct tape. So it just tears right off and again, nice end on the end of your staff. Now, once you have your structure together, it should bend very simply along the flat edge. So basically to bend it, you just push in and fold. And the nice thing is you can just pull it to be whatever length you want, whenever you want to fold it up. And you just keep going segment by segment until it's a desirable size, nice and compact. And now that you know how to fold it up, there's one last little finishing point that needs to be added. And that is the electrical tape. And now if you look inside here, it's just two tape measures right next to each other, but the outside is duct tape, so it does tear easily. So the same thing that makes duct tape easy to work with also makes it less durable 
So we're gonna take the electrical tape, just peel off the end here, and then you wanna go right on the end here and wrap it around two or three times to keep this from delaminating. And if you don't want it just to look like there's an end on here, you can make it a little cool by making a little handle area on either side. And then you just rip it off and voila. You can put more or less on the end depending on your preference, but it's important to do this to both sides because over time this will tear away. But once that's done, you have yourself a staff that folds up and could even fit in a large pocket if you wanted. Now, I'm going to send this over to my good friend, the Mara Ninja, and we'll see what he thinks about it and have him test it in a real way. Alright guys, it is my turn to tell you what I think about this awesome compactable staff that you can build yourself in your own house. Now, guys, um... This is great, and depending on how long you make the staff, you can make it long enough or short enough to fit in your sleeve or in your belt or anything like that, up your pant leg. It can be fit, it can be sized to fit whatever you need it to, and in that sense, it is great. And as a shorter weapon, if you decide to make this and instead of making it a full staff, uh, it can be very useful as a, like an Eskrima style self-defense weapon simply because the way it works if it's at this length or even this length swinging it at somebody will definitely hurt now is it the same as a steel baton absolutely not but that's not the point the point is that it's compactable and can be hidden in places and so if you made it a little bit shorter that would be great for self-defense and easily concealable for you guys and, e and even at this length just half the length of the staff you can swing it and do some damage if you hit someone across the face because let me tell you that's not gonna feel good I can tell you that right now now as far as its use as a staff it's gonna be a little bit tricky now as it is with one layer of tape measure it is a decent staff but when it gets to this point where it's so long and may bend easily hitting things won't really work so because it's so long and the grade of the measuring tape that I use at the point where I'm using it, it can get bent and it can bend out of shape when you hit something a little too hard. Now, if you hit on the seam, it can still do the same thing. You have to hit perfectly on the seam in order for it to stay rigid. And even still, it comes with that caveat of possibly bending if you hit something too hard with it. Now, does it pop back into shape? Yes. It definitely does and so as far as doing you know training sessions going through if you're learning a form or if you're trying to practice more often shoving this in your backpack sho shoving something like this in your backpack is pretty easy and then whipping it out when you're wanting to go through your form maybe you know work whatever you're trying to get and then you can put it back when you're done but as far as a self-defense weapon if you want to use this as a self-defense weapon, use it as a shorter stick, almost like a bat or an Eskrima stick, something like that. Because the full staff, although it looks really cool and does have some usage, you're not really going to use it the way you want to as far as self-defense goes. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, glad you enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know what you think was wrong. Because today we learned how to make a staff out of duct tape. Not just any staff, one that's collapsible. And so, I hope in the future, if you enjoyed this video, you'll watch a little more of me. I'll continue to make weapons such as this that are cool and easy to make and lots of fun. And yes. I realize I can't catch. That's why I'm saying it to the modern ninja for proper testing.